Hey guys, welcome to another video. Hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to discuss if you can create winning landing pages in Go High Level. And by winning, I mean landing pages that bring a lot of conversions when you run lead generation ads on them, like Google Ads, Facebook Ads, TikTok Ads, and stuff. So the the landing page you can see on the screen, this was created by me on a high level. And let me just tell you why I'm making this video. Uh, it's because over the past few weeks, I have seen people complaining that their landing pages are not working, that they built on high level. And uh, the reason they're saying they're not working is because they moved away from another funnel builder like ClickFunnels, uh, Insta pages and stuff. So when they actually moved over to high level, that's when they stopped working. And I think I can give you a few good ideas why they're not working if you have rebuilt them like exactly how they were before. Now, I will come to that, but let me actually discuss this page. This is something I created maybe a couple months ago, and we've tried a few stuff. I know there's a lot of demo data because this is not the, the page that we're bringing traffic on. Uh, this is this is the page that we created for a company that's uh, like a painting business in UK. And I followed all the conversion rate optimization guidelines to optimize this page for getting more conversions, right? So it's got the trust badge, it's got the call to action, it's got the form that people see when they land on this instantly from desktop or mobile. It's got the trust badges, it's got emotive headline, and as featured in sections, pain points, solutions, and all those uh, encouraging elements that you need on the page. It's got the testimonials, it's got the projects that are authentic images, uh, F FAQ sections, areas served, and finally a footer. So this is everything you need for uh, conversion rate optimization. And if you want to optimize your website for getting more conversions, I am doing a lot of research and experiments on that. So you will definitely see more videos on that. That's another conversation. But what we're talking about here is I built this website on high level and I know that this is a winning landing page. So I don't see any problem with uh, high level because they're super fast and I'm not just saying this for no reason. I will come to the drawbacks and I will give you the cons of creating high level uh, landing pages. Also they're mobile responsive so they're fast they're mobile responsive and i could do everything that i needed to do to conversion rate optimize this landing page right now let's come to the cons these were the benefits and now if we talk about the cons like uh, a few days ago when i was browsing this website or this landing page i couldn't see the images loading uh and one of the days i saw the the form or the survey was not actually properly loading i don't know why that happened could be a server issue or something but when i am spending like money every second bringing traffic to this page i expect this to be like live 24 7 right this is everyone's general expectation for this page to be live because you can expect traffic to come to this page any moment so you you need everything to be running smoothly like all the images if there's video if there's icon even the icons matter also the if the form's not loading what should people do so these are the kind of things uh, i think that people uh like when people say they're not working i think one of the reasons is like the subdomain issue so i have a video where i've explained how to uh how to connect a subdomain how to properly update the dns records and stuff I, i'll put that in the in the description and that's one thing if you don't update the DNS records properly, if it's not propagated from worldwide, you're going to face issues. People are going to come to this URL and they're going to see the destination the URL is not working. So that's one thing. Also, these uh, temporary issues that we face, it's, it's actually annoying. To be honest, I don't like this. If, like I said, if I'm spending a lot of money, I expect it to be live 24 seven. So that's one thing. Also, if you are literally rebuilding the page in high level and if you know that it was bringing conversions when it, it was in other other funnel builders like click funnels other than those issues I, I don't see anything else that you could face because to be honest everything remains the same what's stopping you from getting more conversions or the same amount of conversions just make sure that you're following the conversion rate guidelines you're good to go really and i can't guarantee that 
the DNS records are working for you, I can't guarantee that uh, the server is always up uh, for serving these resources like images, icons, forms and stuff. Other than those, I think Twilog is good. I won't say it's the best because there are better uh, like bespoke landing page builders out there uh, where high level is just a CRM. That's actually jack of all trades, master of none. So yeah, that's that's actually my thoughts. It's my opinion, really, it's not a fact. So you guys could go with it because if, if you think it's not safe for uh, you to spend money on uh, ads and then not getting any results, just move away. Yeah, that's. I think that would be a good idea for you and your like yeah, mental peace, you know. So I hope you find this video useful. I, I hope I could address those issues properly and make sure you subscribe if you like this video and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Mm -hmm.